So, welcome to another episode of Help Me Understand. Um, you know, first of all, I hope everybody had a nice weekend and uh, at Easter, Passover, with our families and uh, not our friends, but I mean, sometimes our families are our friends too, and look for me, my, my best friends, they're the greatest, but you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, here we are back in the real world, back in reality, and uh, um, and reality's been quite daunting for us all, I know that. So what I need help understanding is this. I need help understanding that, um, like, so today I'll tell you what my day was today. So on Thursday, um, I got um, I got a call from my doctor, you know, um, uh, you know, I told you more than a few times, like my business, you know, they always say kind of half jokingly, but not really is, uh, is the relationship business, that's my business. You know, whether they're farmers or people that come through our doors or um, uh, my family, my friends, you know, those relationships are everything. And when any of those things are out of kilter, um, that we, uh, we are left to deal with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, those realities. And uh, so uh, my doctor is, uh, he's, a cool, he's a good dude and, and uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate to have a good friend. This is a doctor. And uh, so he called me and said, hey, man, I got these, you know, there's, we, there's some tests available. And, uh, you know, if you try to go through insurance, it's going to be, it'll be, a, it'll be a while. But, you know, um, uh, it's 100 bucks to find out if you can um, get, uh, uh, you know, if you had it, the, uh, the, uh, um, the antibody test. It's a hundred bucks, and then, and then you spit in a cup, and then you wait 24 hours, and then you find out if you you have it active in your system unknowingly. And so, the reason I wanted to tell you this today, because I was I was grateful and then perplexed. And what I was what I'm grateful for is like you know, even though money's incredibly tight, um, and there's a struggle, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have a, you know 300 bucks to put together to, to grab a test. And even though I'm, I don't have any symptoms at all, and to be honest with you, I never felt better physically. I've been taking care of myself, trying to eat well, trying to do some exercise, trying to get sleep, which I think, you know, uh, sounds like pretty basic, but in my life, sleep wasn't that, you know, you know, and, and I always look at, in any situation, what can I do? If I wronged you unintentionally, I wanna know how we can make it right. And I feel in this world right now, not that, I, that any of us personally should feel obviously responsible for this place that we're in, but how can we help all of us get out of it? And since I'm in the hospitality business, and even though I'm using the gloves and got the mask and, and other masks, and you know, our staff's reduced massively, and we're open minimum amount of days, and it's takeout only, and um, with all those precautions taken. You know, when I see statistics and Dr. Fauci and this guy and that guy, and, and they tell us what to do, and we try to follow us 100%. But I think there's some, just in my opinion, and wanting to understand this, uh, is when I hear things like, you know, well, here we are in Arizona, and, you know, there's not, there's only so many cases, whatever it is, you know, 300 or whatever it was, uh, I don't even know right now, to be honest, but I know it's way low. It's not in the top 15 even. But, and then I say, well, how do we know? How do we know? How do we know if, if until today I didn't get a test? Cause I mean, obviously I, didn't, I wasn't sick. And uh, so there's no reason to get one. I asked about it before, my doctor said, you know, you don't fit the criteria, so don't worry about it. Now with a new, understanding of we can be asymptomatic and passing on unknowingly. You know, I felt the urgency to not just my family and friends, but to people I serve every day that, that God forbid I ever did anything that would hurt anybody on this planet unintentionally or, or intentionally. I wouldn't want, you know what I'm saying? But so I go take this test this morning. I get the finger prick, no big deal, tough guy. Um, in 15 minutes, I found out that I never had it the antibody. I don't have the, I never had it before. So that's not really a reason to high five. The doctor says, it says, you know, still wear your gloves, wear your mask, be diligent. Um, 
you know, uh, for me in my own personal life, my mother-in-law lives well. She has stage four cancer. She's under, you know, certain, uh, obviously restrictions. We keep her kind of away from everybody, you know, now. And, uh, um, but what I'm waiting for now is the second part is, um, you know, after, uh, we learned a couple of weeks ago that our good friend in our industry, our Chef Nancy Silverson, uh, Silverton, um, uh, tested positive uh, with no symptoms, and uh, you know, it, it, you know, we're, 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 um, I heard from yes, uh, yesterday um, that uh, she um, tested negative and she, you know, went through her time and and now she's ready to come back to the world and uh, God bless her and thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, just everybody's praying for her and uh, and uh, now she's uh, back out in the world. But what I don't understand, and uh, if I had an editor, they cut all this out and they condense it. But what I don't understand is, is I'm fortunate enough to have 300 bucks to go get a test to find out I don't, I don't have it. I still need to be diligent. I haven't had it, so I'm not uh, uh, immune to it. So we still got to be careful. But how do we know how many people in our state, like what our real numbers are, how many cases in any state? And you know, I saw the mayor of North Dakota last night asking questions to his governor because there's, they're not mandatory to be shut down and yada, yada. You know, so here's what I know. Here's what I know. I heard some like horrible statistics um, that um, African-Americans, Hispanics are being, um, in, 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 in most major cities are the hardest hit. And I'm not, like I said, I, I got a very minimal uh, uh, formal education, but even I could figure out where, you know, where there's low income, you know, and their struggle, and people can't run over to their friend as a doctor who's gonna call them and tell them if you got 300 bucks to get a test, that they can't get tested, they don't know. And are they passing around unknowingly? And they can't afford to go like, go shut down and not go to work. And, you know, maybe even find a mask or do anything else. So, like, like you know, I see a lot of news things like, oh, well, I wonder why this is. Like, I'm an idiot, and I know that, you know, poor people need the most help right now. Um, unknowingly spreading that around. And um, so I think if I had an editor and they could help me, what I was trying to say was, is we need more testing. You know, we need testing, and maybe, like, it'll carry on. Like, like we have uh, things in our state and some states like, uh, like E-Verify to find out if people are legally here and they're paid legally here and they pay taxes legally here. We have that. So if someone comes in, we know everything's on the up and up. Maybe part of that next phase will be, you know, so we can assure ourselves and our customers to feel safe that we're doing everything we can that the people, you know, um, work for us are tested, you know. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe that's, I don't want to make everybody crazy, but um, uh, I just don't understand, man. I, I don't understand we're like, we're a super rich country. And uh, even though not so much right now, obviously, but uh, um, how do we, how do we find better answers to, to get through these things? And, and when we get through it, like, how do we go forward? We're not just all gonna start high-fiving and, you know, chest bumping uh, from the get. You know, it's gonna be um, a lot of uh, um, figuring this out. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do all, the, all we can on this end, but um, to the smart people out there, you know, help us all understand what we can do. Help us all understand how we can take measures to be better and not, you know, this isn't a fearful, you know, definitely anything but uh, an opportunity, which I always do, to find the uh, the empathy and the proactive measures to make us a better, better, better place. So, with that, uh, you know, I could go on forever about this. You guys heard probably too much already, and we're hearing it all the time. But, but um, I mean, testing, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, it, it seems to me the logical. Um, the logical uh, uh, way forward. So, uh, small people who can make tests, I mean, get them to the people. People can afford to pay. It's kind of like free college, you know? That was my one thing. I think, like, I was all down with, like, 
free college. But if I can afford to send my kids to school, I should pay the damn money. You know, I don't know if I can, I won't be able to, but if I can't afford it, I got I should pay. If I can afford to get a test, I should pay. And the people that can't afford it, well, I want them to be able to afford, you know, obviously to get, you know, the education they need when we get out of this place. But we want to be able to get, you know, to get what people, understanding what you need more than what we want to give people, like really asking people what they need. And to do that, we got to talk to some smart people and make better decisions. So on that note, I love you. I'm trying to understand and I'll keep trying and I'll keep trying to share these things, see if they make any sense. Big love. I'll see you later.